Sports. Uh, we're joined by SAFTU General Secretary uh, Zuelin Zima Vavi. Mr. Vavi, thank you very much for your time. Uh, why are you calling for Mr. Dennis George to resign when nothing has been proven yet? No, we're saying if the allegations are proven correct, then uh, we will call on him to do the honorable thing first. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't do that, we will call on the affiliates of the of FEDUSA to ask him to step down, and we will condemn him as the, as the traitor of the of the trust that workers uh, placed on his shoulders to protect their interest. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Mr. George says he's an independent, non-executive director at IO Technology Solutions. Do you know what his actual role was during the conclusion of this deal with the PIC? We have no idea, uh, but that compromises him, isn't it? Because the, the story is not just that the, the FEDUSA or him should have a right to, to have shares or not. That's not the issue. The issue is that at the pre-listing of this company, IO, there was what we call a BEE bonanza, where the directors, these organizations, FEDUSA, Pope Crew, SACTO included, were granted shares at a price of one rand 43 cent. And yet the PIC paid for the same shares a staggering 43 rands per share. Now look at the distance and then ask yourself whether from now on FEDUSA, SACTU, Pupcru, and all of the people that are listed to have been beneficiary of this BEE bonanza can escape the accusation that uh, automatically flows that they are hyenas who took advantage of the fact that there's a two trillion rands of workers' savings, that they have been shouting in the streets and protesting that it must be protected at a time when other bigger hyenas were, were, were having their long noses in the trough and benefiting from, from those workers' savings. How will they escape uh, the accusation that they are hypocrites of the, of the first order? if they themselves are found out to have been beneficiaries. Now, here's the even point with Dennis George. We don't care what role he was playing in this I.O. as a director, non-executive director, but he is being accused by Amapungane, who says we have actually seen the record of the shareholding scheme, that he is a managing director of a company called Defeme Holdings. Holdings sole director, and he has received 3 million shares of the same order. The, they get one rand 43, and PIC pays 43 rands for the same share. That's criminal. If that is proven right in this investigation, and that if he cannot uh, disprove these allegations that uh, uh, Amapungani are, are placing on his head, we have to do the honorable thing. And workers must condemn all of them, including him in particular. How many times did you have Dennis George and, at these studios? I, I, want to, I want to actually come to, to co that point. Condemning other people uh, uh, for looting at the PIC. Indeed. I How many come times? To that point, Mr. Bavi. In the meantime, what I want us to do now is to listen back to the man who is soon to be the former chairperson of the PIC at that uh, Montli Kungubelo, who was here this Sunday talking and when he was questioned on whether due diligence and correct procedure was followed in concluding this deal, here's the response of what he said during this interview. I, I call it a movie. Mm. Uh, I've never seen a situation where all procedures are not followed. Remember, when a deal is there, it's supposed to go to uh, uh, the, the public at management committee. Did, did the AO deal go to the public it, management it, committee? It did not go. The, 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 let me put it this way. It went at the wrong time. Okay. The first time it's, it's supposed to go, when it arrives, it goes to the, that committee. 
That committee analyzed the appetites and everything else. And that committee is the one that is mandated to say it must then go for due diligence. Mm. That was not done. And then by the time the due diligence was being done, already on the 14th of, what is it, December 2017? On the 14th of December, a, a subscription agreement was signed. Mm. Something that must come after all these processes are followed, your PMC, your due diligence. If you follow the sequence, all the due diligence reports come after the subscription. Mr. Vave, you're listening to the board chairperson there. Of course, he's the outgoing, we should say. This deal is clearly tainted. How does Dennis Bloom defend himself? Dennis George. Dennis George, I should say. So thank you for that correction. How does Dennis George come out of this clean? Impossible. The, the official that uh, was driving this deal, clearly outside of the procedures, immorally, have been suspended correctly by the, by the PIC. We welcome that. The evidence that is being led in the board, uh, in the commission of inquiry uh, chaired by, uh, by, by, uh, by President uh, of the, of the of, 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 oh, yeah, Lexington Party, clearly demonstrate and affirms what Monte Kugumbela is saying there, that there was no procedures being followed. In fact, the, the, the commission is being told that so arrogant was these I.O. guys that they told their people, that forget about the PIC, this thing is a done deal. It's, it's, that's how they were operating with the PIC. Once it appears to me, and I hope that is evidence that they will be led to show this, that uh, they had their people inside and that they didn't have to follow the due diligence or anything like that. All right. They were sort of guaranteed that uh, once they knock at the door at these workers' savings, they will be given the money, whatever money. And here's a painful part. These two trillion rands should be contributing at least in building houses. A scheme should be developed to, to build houses of the public servants who have no houses and who government is giving them a 900 rands, ridiculous 900 rands, as a housing allowance or an insulting 1,300 rands for a bond. And yet some hyenas who claim to be the representatives of the workers go exactly to the same uh, place and they eat as if there is no tomorrow. Mr. Vavi, I want to quickly go to the response of uh, Mr. Dennis George, who we did invite, by the way, uh, this morning. And uh, the response that uh, Mr. Dennis George has issued for us, uh, it was via text message, and it'll come up just now. That's uh, his response to us when we invited him to an interview. He says, I am an independent, non-executive of IO Technology Solutions. I am busy with legal action concerning defamation of character. These allegations are untrue, regards Dennis George. A media statement will be released later today. So those are, that, that's, uh, that's his response to our request for him to come through uh, for an interview uh, this morning, Mr. Vavi. I want, as a final thought from you, uh, to tell me the, the IO directors have been writing statements after statements now. They're saying that uh, this negative media coverage is impacting on the stock that is AO, which is listed on the JSE. Should there be perhaps pullback, at least for the benefit of workers' monies that are invested in that company? Well, Dennis George and all of the people who are being implicated must do the honorable things. If they dispute these facts that are being presented in the commission, they must go there. He mustn't do this thing. Have you seen that the politicians who are implicated in the Zondo Commission, their response will always be, I'm consulting my lawyers. Uh, whenever there's a public protector report, I'm consulting my lawyers, and we're going to challenge this. Dololo action in terms of actual challenging the public protector or Zondo or going to present themselves to Len Party's commission in relation to the PIC. They must go there and not issue statements uh, that are meaningless until they under oath are cross-examined and, uh, and they are presenting their side of the story there. If these allegations are true, we will demand that the new board of the PIC 
must first have a representative, a representative of workers and civil society formations and who must do an A to Z investigation of all of the deals that were approved by the board that have just resigned. And if evidence is shown that these people really benefited such as that there is a truth in the allegation that they were given a, a one round 43 a share and yet the PIC gives the same IO company a 43 rands or buy the same shares for 43 rands, then these people must be jailed. These people must go to prison so that we can send a signal to everybody that really to, to steal from workers is totally unacceptable. Mr. Vavi, thank you very much for your time. These are shocking allegations indeed. Uh, Fedusa, I don't remember a time when they were associated with any scandal. Uh, this must be something new for them as well. All right, uh, we'll leave it there for.